I'm so glad you have been able to join us for this weekend devotional. This devotional will be a little different. I, I've had a week that has been uh, very difficult. And have a brother that is in severe condition. And I've asked for prayers and found myself in prayer. And I began to realize something we've been studying over the last couple of weeks in Bible study. This peace that God gives us, this uh, help in time of trouble, this need to rely upon God not to worry, not to give in to the worry. And maybe it has come across better to me right now than it has ever been. In John, the 14th chapter, verse 25, as Christ speaks to the apostles before his death on the cross, he says some things, and it's a little different, it but he still has some application for us. He said, these things I have spoken to you, this is in John 14, verse 25. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, and my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give give to you? Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I'm going away. I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejoiced because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. As Christ look towards that time his death on the cross he knew the difficulties that these men would face they'd been close the heartache of losing someone or even the thought that you might lose someone someone who's close it builds great anxiety it builds great fear it 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 it, it consumes one but he said I give my peace to you and he was giving it in a little different form than we might receive it but I have been impressed on this week more than any other time that going to God in prayer belonging to God, knowing that he will be with you. I, I don't know what the outcome will be to the situation my brother faces. It's not going to ever be the normal he was used to, nor I might be used to. A lot of things are going to be there. He is going to be crippled in a lot of ways. It's going to be a long, hard road to fight. And yet, if we will look at this idea, it's not about making sure that I live without the discomforts. It's not to making sure that I live without the pains and hurts or I want to go through it. We're all going to have difficult times. In Philippians, the fourth chapter, Starting in verse 4, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I will say rejoice, even when times were difficult, even when they hurt. He said, Let your reasonableness, reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything. This is a command. Do not be anxious about anything. Set your worries aside completely difficult for us to do as human and I know there are times that we don't accomplish it in and, and God offers us forgiveness
but he does tell us, tell us something. He said, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. He said, go to God. You belong to him. Go to God. He's there for your needs. He's there to care for you. He's there to give you the support one needs. We say this to many people many times. I've used it in funerals. I've used it in many different avenues. And yet today I began to genuinely get a hold of this peace. It's not about fixing the problems. It's about helping me deal through them. It's about knowing that God is there with me. But I want us to hear what he says. Seek him in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, giving thanks for that which I have not received yet. Knowing that God will be there. Knowing that God will give it to me. He said, let your request be made known to God. Verse 7 is very important in this. Because when I offer myself over to God completely, and I say I'm yours, I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to, to handle the situation. He said, in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You see, God brings us peace. He helps us to deal through these things. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the end results will be. But we know that God is in control and God will care for each of us. I hope that his family hears this. I know that I needed to hear this. I needed to see it. I needed to realize that God was taking care of me in full. All we have to do is give ourselves to it. I want to thank you for being here today. I want you to take this with you this weekend, this month, this year. The situations that are at hand, I have friends who have COVID, very extreme cases of it. I don't know what their outcome will be. I know that I have brothers and sisters of these friends that are suffering. God will give you peace. Each one of us need to realize that God is there. God can give us that peace. We can go on. I ask that if you know of these people, the things that are there, each one of them, keep them in prayer. Keep them in prayer that they might find this peace, that they might know that God is caring for them. Pray for those who are find themselves hurting, those who find themselves in these places that are near death. And ask God to be with them. To help him do whatever God really is, I don't know. But that is, he does it, that we will find peace in him. Thank you for being here today, and may God bless each one of you.